Hello everyone, welcome to my fire and um, drag and drop fire uploading series. And um, in my last episode, we stopped at uh, making the fire upload through the server. And now, what you are going to be doing now, we are going to be adding the drag and drop function into our web page. So now, let's kick off. Now, before we start, I would like to make some corrections. In my last tutorial, I actually required a file here in my index.php. Now, this file I required here wasn't necessary because we are sending this form to the uploader.php. So the upload the uploader.php actually runs this file. So there was no need actually requiring it here. We can you can only require it here if you are actually um, running the submitting the form to this same index.php. So I'll have to remove that. And if I remove it, you also see that the form will also work. So let me save this stuff and go back to my browser. Then let me refresh. If I refresh and go over to choose file and i select an image then i click upload file then you see successful so it's still giving us a successful message so i have it there successful so which means everything is still working fine and if you should go back to my um if you should go back to my browser um to my project folder sorry if i should locate my project folder uploading system and you check uploads you see it's right there so everything still works fine so now let's go back to what what we have today so now what i need to do now is um i need to wipe this stuff off because we don't need it anymore for now then i need to create my basic html structure so i'll say html blah 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 you should know this because i expect you to have known your basic html javascript and PHP. So now I will have the title to this. So I need to type in the title. Now the title would be um, drag and drop file uploader. Fine. Now we are good with this. Now what we need to do now is we'll go back to the body and create a div tag. We'll create a div tag here. Now in this div tag, I'll add it. I'll add a paragraph, and in that paragraph, I'll say drag drag and drop files here to upload sorry the here has to be here to upload nice so we have this on view then and that thing is that we need to go back to this div and add an attribute called id now the id would be drop zoom you get it so everything is going fine now what i need to do now is to style this stuff because if i should reload this page it looks so ugly good so um i'm sorry i have to go back refresh good you see it looks so ugly so plain so i have to i have to add, add some designs to it to make it look good now what i need to do is that i'll copy a styling i have a styling somewhere here so i just need to copy this and take it over to that page so in case you can't style you can just sorry i need to add in my style my style elements and put it in, in between the style elements good so um if you need the styling you can actually pause the video and just copy that out so if i go back to my browser now and refresh this page whoo everything is fine i kind of zoom the page let me good you see the stuff now now everything looks good so now let's try to drag in a file to this page let's know how it looks so if i go back to my uh, file explorer and i drag this image here boom you see it's not working because we've not implemented the drop zoom.js into our code so now let's start with that now i'll need to go back now the first thing i need to do now is to go over to my project folder i need to head over to my project folder oh what's happening let me close this so i need to head over to my project folder and uh, i have a folder there called js in case you don't have this folder you can create yours so I have a folder there called JS. Now in this JS folder, I need to move in 
I need to copy the drop zone.js file and add it to this um, folder. Now, all I need to do now is to go back to my download. I've downloaded it. So I need to head over to my download. Then I have it here, drop zone.js. So I just need to copy, then go back to my project folder, JS, and I'll paste it here. Good. So we have it there in our folder and it's good to go. Now, in case you don't have the drops on the JS, you can download it from you can download it from these websites. I will give you right now. So all you just need to do now is to head over to http https slash slash drop zone dot js sorry drop zone js dot com sorry so this is a website if you if you could copy this link and put it in your browser it will open the page in which you used to download the drop zone dot js file so now let's write on now since I have my drop zone dot js file all I need to do now is to all I need to do now is to link the file to my HTML. So what I need to do now is to just link it to the index.html. So I will just say script, I'll open the script tag and I'll add the source attribute. And the source attribute will be the directory or the path to the drop zone.js file. So I will just say js slash slash drop zone.js good so i have it all working but still this won't make our file upload we need to instantiate the drop zone.js class so what i need to do now is to create another script at the bottom here so i'll open another script element and um i'll create a simple variable so all i need to do now is to say var my drop zone Var my drop zone. Oh, sorry. Let's make it come make a scene. My drop zone. Yeah, to be equal to new drop zone. Now this drop zone class accept two parameters. One is the selector, and the other is the options. The options you would need for the file uploading. So. First of all, I will pass in, I will pass in the options. Now the options are one the selector. Now the selector is this ID here, which is drop zone. So I just need to say hash drop zone. So with this, I pass in the ID and um, the other. Um, Now the other parameter is the the properties. So the first property I'm passing is the URL, which is the which is um, the file directory or the file uh, the web address it to submit this file to. So I just need to say uploader.php. So this is the file that will run the image upload, and uh, the other parameter is uh, the param name. param name so this is user file then we need to pass in upload multiple then we'll make it false now we need to save. I guess that's all we need for now. Then if I should head over to my browser and refresh, then drag in a file here. So I will drag in this image to my browser. Boom, and you see it's now uploaded. So if I go over to my directory to my so if I go over to my project directory and open the upload, you see there two dot jpg. So I can also upload another file like this bag here. So I just need to take it to my browser and drop it there. 
you see here so this is how you actually upload file create an if a drag and drop file uploader using drop .js. so uh, thanks for watching and i hope you subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button to get notifications on new videos i'll be making in my channel thanks for watching see ya in my next series